The learners welcome you all to a learning platform. This course is Elizabeth and Drama, the course code of which is ENG410. This is Fatsal Ahmed with you throughout the whole lectures. And this is lecture one in week one. Let's begin. First of all, introduction to Elizabeth and Drama. Elizabeth and Drama refers to the plays written and performed during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I of England from 1558 to 1603. It was a vibrant and influential era in the history of theatre, producing some of the greatest plays in English literature. Origins of Elizabethan Drama The roots of Elizabethan drama can be traced back to the medieval mystery plays and morality plays which are performed by traveling troops of actors and aimed at educating the masses on religious and moral themes. These plays often incorporated elements of comedy and drama and relied heavily on visual spectacle. In the 16th century, with the growth of the professional theatre in London, a new type of drama emerged, known as the commercial theatre. It was a business venture and plays while performed in purpose, in purpose, bill theatres such as the Globe and the Rose, the British monarchy during the Elizabethan era. The Elizabethan era refers to the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, 1533 to 1603 of England, which lasted from 1558 to 1603. Elizabeth I, Elizabeth I was the daughter of King Henry VIII, 1491 to 1547, and his second wife Annie Boleyn, and was the last monarch of the Tudor dynasty, and is sometimes referred to as the Virgin Queen. Elizabeth ascended to the throne at the age of 25 after the death, after the death of her half-sister Queen Mary the first. Her reign was marked by significant political, social and cultural changes in England and is often considered the golden age of English history. During Elizabeth's reign, the British monarchy has significant power, although it is also uh, constrained by Parliament and other political institutions. Elizabeth herself was known for her strong personality and shared political sense and was able to navigate the complex political landscape of her time. One of the major challenges faced by Elizabeth and the monarchy during the Elizabethan era was the conflict between Protestants and Catholics. England and England had officially broken away from the Catholic Church under Elizabeth's father, King Henry VIII, and tensions between the two religious groups remained high throughout Elizabeth's reign. Another major challenge was the threat of invasion by other European powers, particularly Spain. This culminated in the Spanish Armada in 1588, which was ultimately defeated by the English Navy. Despite these challenges, Elizabeth's reign was marked by significant cultural achievements, particularly in literature and the arts. These era produced some of the greatest writers in English history, including William Shakespeare, Christopher Marlowe, and Ben Jensen. Overall, the British monarchy during the Elizabethan era was marked by significant political and social changes as well as cultural achievements that continue to shape English identity to this day. Key Playwrights in Elizabethan Era William Shakespeare, arguably the greatest playwright of all time, Shakespeare wrote over 30 plays, including Hamlet, Macbeth, and Romeo and Juliet. Christopher Marlowe, a contemporary of Shakespeare, Marlowe wrote plays such as Dr. Faustus and Chamberlain the Great. Ben Johnson, a prolific playwright, Johnson's works include the 
alchemist and Volpuni, John Webster, the later Elizabethan dramatist Webster is known for his dark and violent plays such as The White Devil and The Duchess of Malfi. Thomas Kidd, one of the earliest Elizabethan dramatists. Keats' plays, including the Spanish tragedy, were known for their dramatic intensity and exploration of themes such as revenge and fate. John Fletcher, a later Elizabethan dramatist who worked in collaboration with Shakespeare on several plays. Fletcher was known for his romantic comedies and tragicomedies, such as the faithful Shepardus and the Page's Tragedy. Thomas Middleton, a playwright and poet, Middleton wrote plays that often explored the darker aspects of human nature, including the Revenger's Tragedy and Changeling. Poets, critics, essays in the Elizabethan era. Edmund Spencer, Philip Sidney, John Donne, Francis Bacon. Edmund Spencer, a poet and writer, Spencer is perhaps best known for his epic poem, The Fairy Queen, which is considered one of the greatest works of English literature. Philip Sidney, a courtier, diplomat, and writer, Sidney was known for his sonnets and prose works, including the pastoral romance Arcadia. John Donne, though his most famous works were written later, Dunn's early career as a poet began in the Elizabethan era. His poetry, including The Sun Rising and The Flea, was known for its metaphysical complexity and wit. Francis Bacon, a philosopher, statesman, and writer, Bacon was known for his essays, which, convert, which covered a wide range of topics, including politics, philosophy, and science. These writers and many others helped to shape English literature and culture during the Elizabethan era, leaving a lasting impact that continues to be felt today. Key Historical Features of the Elizabethan Era Reformation and Religious Conflict, Exploration and Colonization, Rise of the Middle Class, Cultural and Artistic Developments, and Political Stability. Reformation and Religious Conflict The Elizabethan era was marked by religious conflict, particularly between Protestants and Catholics. England had broken away from the Roman Catholic Church during the reign of Elizabeth's father, Henry VIII, and the country was predominantly Protestant. However, there were still significant Catholic populations, and tensions between the two groups remained high throughout Elizabeth's reign. Exploration and Colonization The Elizabethan era saw significant exploration and colonization by England. The voyages of Sir Francis Drake and Sir Walter Raleigh lead to the establishment of English colonies in the New World. While the English East India Company was founded to establish trade with India and the Far East, Rise of the middle class. The Elizabethan era saw the rise of the middle class, particularly through the growth of trade and commerce. This led to greater economic opportunities for many people and contributed to a shift away from the feudal system that had dominated medieval England, cultural and artistic developments. The Elizabethan era was marked by significant cultural and artistic developments, particularly in literature and drama. This period produced some of the greatest writers in English history, including William Shakespeare, Christopher Marlowe, and Ben Jensen. Political Stability The Elizabethan era was a time of relative political stability in England, particularly compared to the turbulent reigns that had preceded it. This stability allowed for significant development and growth in many areas, including trade, exploration, and the arts, and also the literature. Overall, the Elizabethan era was a time of significant changes and development in England, marked by religious conflict, exploration, and colonization, the rise of the middle class, cultural and artistic developments, and political stability. These factors contributed to a period of great achievement and progress in English history. 
and continue to influence English identity and culture to this day. Major literary characteristics of the Elizabethan era. Humanism, love of language, exploration of themes, theater, exploration and discovery, satire and wit. Humanism, the Renaissance, emphasis on human reason, learning and achievement is reflected in the literature of the Elizabethan era. Humanism placed a high value of individualism and this is evident in the characters in Elizabethan literature who are often complex and multifaceted. Multifaceted. Love of language. The Elizabethan era was a time of great linguistic creativity and writers of this period revel revelled in the beauty and power of the English language. The use of poetic language, metaphor and wordplay is a hallmark of Elizabethan literature. Exploration of themes. Elizabethan literature explores a wide range of themes from love and beauty to power and politics. Many writers of this period are in interested in exploring the nature of humanity and in the human experience. Theatre. The Elizabethan era was a golden age of theatre and drama was an important form of literature during this period. Playwrights like William Shakespeare, Christopher Marlowe and Ben Johnson wrote some of the greatest plays in the English language and the theatre was an important source of in entertainment and cultural commentary. Exploration and discovery. The Elizabethan era was a time of great exploration and discovery, both geographically and intellectually. Writers of this period are interested in exploring new ideas and perspectives, and many works of literature from this period reflect a sense of excitement and curiosity about the world. Satire and wit. Elizabethan literature is known for its sharp wit and Biting satire, which often targeted the foibles and follies of the ruling classes. Satirical plays and poetry were a popular form of entertainment and entertainment during this period. Overall, the literature of the Elizabethan era reflects a time of great creativity, curiosity, and exploration, and continues to be celebrated for its enduring beauty and power. Themes and Characteristics Elizabethan drama was characterized by a number of themes and characteristics, including the use of blank verse, the use of soliloquies, the portrayal of complex characters, the exploration of social and political issues, the use of spectacle. The use of blank verse, a type of unrhymed poetry that became a hallmark of Elizabethan drama. Use of soliloquies, where a character speaks their thoughts Allowed, often revealing their innermost fears and desires. Portrayal of complex characters. Elizabethan playwrights were known for creating characters with depth and complexity, such as Shakespeare's Hamlet and Marlowe's Dr. Foster's. The exploration of social and political issues. Many Elizabethan plays addressed issues such as power, corruption, and social inequality. The use of spectacle. Elizabethan drama was known for its use of elaborate costumes, music, and stage effects to create visual spectacle. Conclusion Elizabethan period was a vibrant and influential era in the history of theatre. It plays its plays continue to be performed and studied today, and its legacy can be seen in the works of modern playwrights and screenwriters. That's all in this week. Furthermore, you will have next week with me. Until then, goodbye.
Get familiarization with the Globe Theatre of Shakespeare. Here, Willie really will describe the Globe Theatre. Willie, really the William Shakespeare. The place of several thousand plays. Goers and often it was packed Why? because it was such a place of entertainment. The pleasure performed in the genre of comedy, tragedies, and stories with human failures and triumphs. So, for one penny, people can watch. People can go to the theater and enjoy the performance. The members of the audience will drop their clients into a box as the intro and the term box office clients. 